The late 19th century was an age of expeditions to and conquests of faraway lands. Anticipating the demands of long-distance travel, Louis Vuitton designed special trunks in zinc and copper to keep out the humidity of tropical climates. The inner frames were made of camphor wood, reputed for its insect-repellent properties. These sturdy trunks could be carried in several ways, including being hung from poles to cross off an inaccessible terrain. Pierre Savignon de Braza, who made regular expeditions to Africa, was one of the foremost explorers of the day. He often called on Louis Vuitton for his luggage, and in 1875 ordered a custom-made version of the famous trunk bed which would later be known as the Braza trunk. However, his most unusual order was in 1905 for a portable desk. Savignon de Braza, who had been charged with investigating the abuses of concessionary companies in Congo, wanted his desk to contain a secret compartment. Louis Vuitton designed a trunk with a desk, compartments for papers, and a hideaway whose existence was known only to a few insiders. But Braza died on his return to France, taking with him the secret of how to open it. Georges Vuitton was summoned by the Ministry for Overseas Affairs to open the secret compartment in the presence of the minister. What the explorer's notes revealed remains a mystery. However, Savignon de Braza's action in Congo was such that the Africans decided to pay tribute to him by calling their capital Brazzaville. <laughs> 